Hello everyone, this is Ren and uh, today I would like to give a quick demo on Sybil Web Tools. But before that, I would like to quickly highlight a few points about uh, Sybil Web Tools workspace and um, runtime repository. So as we all know, the Sybil Web Tools um, workspace and um, runtime repository features were introduced with uh, IP 2017. And ever since, um, Oracle has been enhancing it as part of the monthly patch releases. So Siebel Web Tools is a 100% browser-based utility that replaces the installed Siebel tools for most of the configuration tasks. And it also eliminates the need of um, local databases, object checking checkouts, and uh, management of seed data workspace. So Siebel Workspace provides a sandbox for editing, compiling, and testing configuration changes until they're ready to be pushed to production. And it also supports the developers to work on multiple parallel releases. So Siebel Runtime Repository. So Siebel Runtime Repository replaces the compiler set of files and it also allows for zero downtime deployment of the configuration changes and it also allows for rapidly deploying new features to users um, without scheduling system outages. So with that, I would like to start the demo with the uh, Siebel Web Tools 19.10 version. And for the demo, I would be using um, Siebel CTMS, which is a clinical trail management system application, um, which is on the same 19.10 version. So for the demo, um, I will be changing the description field label to summary on uh, administration clinical program list tablet. And I will be also adding a validation rule to exchange date field on the same uh, program list tablet, which currently doesn't have any validation rule and it is accepting any date. So I would like to restrict the date, uh, this date field to accept only the values which are less than or equal to today. So once we uh, make the changes, I would like to quickly test them in uh, in, the, in the workspace uh, from the application. Um, once all the changes are validated, we'll be finally um, publishing the changes to the main line. So with that, I would like to navigate back to the application. And then I wanted to quickly verify the version, which is Siebel 19.10 version. Um, and I would like to navigate to administration clinical um, program list applet. So as you can see, um, I would like to um, rename the description field label to summary. And I would like to add, add a validation to exchange date field. As you can see, it is currently accepting any dates. It doesn't have any validation rule and it doesn't have any restrictions. So once we add the validation rule, it should accept only the dates which are less than or equal to today. So let me go back to Siebel Web Tools and I would like to quickly verify the version which is Siebel 19.10. Um, and then uh, for making the changes, we need to create a new workspace. So as you can see, we just have one main published uh, a workspace available here so for making the change i'm creating a brand new workspace um, i'm just going to name it as sn demo changes um, and i'm going to just give today's date i would quickly say demo changes and then once i create a workspace i would just open the workspace and um, i will make sure uh, and, 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 and i would make sure um, that the workspace is open. Uh, once the workspace is open, it shows the workspace name here. Um, and then to go back to the tools, I would just quickly um, click on the tools and then I just click on list of values and I go back to the um, to the tools menu on the object explorer. And then I would click on the applet. So to make the changes, I would like to quickly find out the applet name here about you, which is a clinical um, clinical program admin list tablet and then I would search for this quickly so once we got the applet so I'm going to make a change to the description label so I would quickly search for the display name description and then I change the display name to summary. And then I wanted to quickly add a comment saying SN01120 
change level from description and for adding the and for adding the and for adding the validation rule to exchange date i would like to quickly find out the column the list column name or the field name so which is um, exchange field i'm just searching for exchange and the field name is amount exchange date so to add a validation rule, I will be navigating to the business component, which is clinical program. And I quickly search for the field amount exchange date. And I will be adding a validation at the validation control. So I would just uh, add a validation such as less than or equal to today. And I would like to add a custom validation message saying uh, exchange date value must be less than or equal to today. And then I would quickly add a comment saying added validation. So now we have completed the changes. Now I would like to go back to the application um, and I would like to test them from the application. So I navigate back to the application. For testing the changes, I just quickly click on uh, the workspace icon, which is this cubicle. Just click on it and um, select the workspace in which we have just made the changes. You can, you can see the changes um, to the objects that are listed here. Um, and then click on open and then click on the inspect icon here and make sure um, that the workspace name is open and it is in the green color and then just close it to go back to the application right now the application is in the inspect mode So once the application opens in the inspect mode with this workspace where we made the changes, we can quickly verify the label change as well as the um, as well as the validation rule. Okay, now we can see um, now that the application is in the inspect mode, we can verify the changes. As you can see, the description label has been changed to summary. And then let's check the exchange date. So I'm just changing the value to 2031. And then it throws a validation message saying exchange date value must be less than or equal to today. So, and then let's test. So without adding a proper date, it's not going to allow us to step off the record. So I just provide a date which is less than or equal to less than today. So I just gave it in 2019. Um, so it, it led us to, um, you know, step off or save the record. So I just wanted to test one more record. And then, so even this one is throwing the validation. Um, so I would just change it back to 2019. And that completes our testing or the validation. So to publish these changes, so before I publish the changes, I wanted to get out of the inspect mode. I just wanted to um, open or go back to the main workspace. So which exists from the inspect mode now you can see that when we came out of the inspect mode you can see um, it, it the main line the main workspace has been open and then it is showing um, the values which are which were before actually which is the since we haven't published the changes they're not in the main line uh, in the application so you can see um, the, the, the 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 summary has been changed to description here and then it doesn't have the validation anymore so to publish the changes to the main line, so we go back to the Sybil Web Tools and then we just quickly um, select, the, uh, select the workspace where we made the changes. You click on the version and then provide your comments saying demo changes. The conversion and then submit the changes. And then this is when it is going to merge the changes to the main line. Just click on submit and then deliver the changes. Finally, this is the last step. So I would just provide 
the last comment state 0, 1, 11, 20. And then this is where it's going to do the final merge to the main line. Um, uh, we'll just say demo changes and deliver. So this is going to take a little bit of time depending on the number of changes we have made. So once the workspace is published, we can go back to the application and then we can verify the changes as well. So in the meanwhile, I'm going to log out from the application. It is still publishing. It may take um, a few more seconds. So I just wanted to quickly uh, point out, so when we click on the submit button, let's say if you have any conflicts um, with the changes you have already made, let's say you made a change and then the same change was already published before by some other developer. So in that case, while, while submitting the changes, it is going to verify those and then it's going to present all the conflicts um, and then it will allow you to um, choose which one to win which change to win whether the one which is on which is, which is already on the server or the ones which you just made so uh, before you deliver or publish the workspace you would have um, an opportunity to um, look at the look at the conflicts and then to resolve them so now um, the the workspace has been published you can see that it's no longer um, in the in the green icon so yeah, as you can see this uh, the status has been changed to delivered and then it's already been checkpointed so as you can see um, if you can um, now you can go back now, now let's go back to the application and log back into the application to verify the changes so now if you look at the now if you look at the workspace now uh, the workspace the main workspace has been incremented from zero to one which means that um, one workspace has been published and you can see the workspace uh, that has been delivered as well let's close it and then um, go back to the application okay so since i open or close it abruptly it, it, it asked me to log back in so let's go back to administration clinical so I'd, let's quickly notify notice that you know um, the description label has been changed to summary and uh, the exchange date should not allow the future dates as you can see it doesn't it is it is um, the changes are published to the main line so um, this is how we make changes in the SQL web tools so as we have observed using the latest web tools um, we we no longer need to um, have the dedicated local clients and then we don't have to do the checking checkouts and then we don't have to do any local compiles and then we don't have to do any server compiles and then generally uh, when you are in the development mode um, if you have if you want to unit test your changes on the server you need to coordinate with the other colleagues and then are your are your colleagues um, and then trying to get a server downtime and then to making the making the changes tested on the server is is a bit uh, time consuming so with the latest web tools we were able to make all these changes in less than three minutes the next step so if you if you want to learn or if you want to see more features of the latest versions um, uh, the IP 2019 um, currently 19.12 is the latest version and then um, within a week or two 20.1 version should be released pretty soon um, so if you want to see um, if you want to see a, see a demo or if you wanted to learn more about any of the latest features please contact us at uh, param.sing at uh, perfusion.com i repeat it's uh, param.sing at uh, perfusion.com so please um, drop an email to us and then we'd be very happy to help you uh, with your implementation um, thank you very much